Our Class Actions campaign is a series of updates for our clients giving insights in the fast growing areas of mass and class actions. Business leaders need to think about class actions because they're massively on the rise right now. They are, by their very nature, high value litigation and they're also very complex, taking up significant manpower and taking people away from their day jobs. They also, of course, pose massive reputational and PR risk. It's absolutely right that class actions are on the rise in England. That's for three principal reasons. The first is that the courts have been keen to suggest that we're in the foothills of this emerging area of law. The second is that we live in a world where wrongdoing is not swept under the carpet anymore. So regulators and NGOs are more able to establish the facts that form the basis of these class actions. Third is the impact of litigation funding and technology, which is really having a big impact on the ability of claimant groups to bring these claims. Hand in hand with litigation funders, specialist claimant firms have grown rapidly and their whole business model is centered around bringing these class actions. Competition class actions are a real hot topic in the UK. New law was brought in a few years ago which provided a proper opt-out class action regime for breaches of competition law. Within a short time we've seen a rush of competition law claims being brought under this new regime. They raise new and challenging issues. And what's really interesting is that consumer and environmental claims are now also being brought, squeezing them into this competition law regime. Well, companies are already aware of their ESG responsibilities, that the risks for ESG-related litigation continue to increase. They are, first of all, the influence of the market and investors who continue to want companies to focus on wider stakeholders. There's also the ever-increasing greenwashing risk, which means that aspirational statements and plans in years ahead are being probed and tested. And the third is the changes around directors' obligations that there is an increasing move to ensure that directors not only take account of shareholders but take account of the communities in which their companies operate.